Hi everyone, Rick Bray with BT BOCES, and in this video, I'd like to show you how to upload files to your Google Drive account. Now again, I'm using a Mac, so things might be a little different depending on what device you're using, but let's take a look. To get files onto your Google Drive account, you need to upload them. And in order to do that, you wanna select the red new button in the left-hand corner, click on that, and you'll see you have the ability to either upload a file or upload a folder. Now the folder upload is only going to be available if you're using the Chrome web browser or a Chromebook. Otherwise, you're going to have to upload files one at a time. And you'll also see here, I can create a new folder. So if you don't have the ability to upload a complete folder at a time, you can create a folder and then individually load the files into it. So let's look at the file upload feature. Now, once you click on file upload, it's, this is basically like attaching a file to an email. You just wanna sift through your computer, look through the files, find the file that you want, maybe this one, and click open to load it. Now again, this is what it looks like from a Mac. This is what it might look like from a Windows machine, and this is what it might look like from a Chromebook. If I try to pull up all three images here, again, each one's a little bit different, but the basic idea is you look for the file on the computer or an external hard drive that you've plugged in, you select the file, and then select open or whatever you need to go forward. So let's go back and see what happens when I click open. Uh, once I click open, you'll see a little window pops up in the right hand corner and it gives me a status. That was a really quick file to upload, so it's already there. If your file is really large, you'll see a status bar showing you how much of the file has been uploaded. So that is how you upload files to Google Drive. In the next video, we'll look at creating new Google files on Drive. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, feel free to email Taylor or myself, and thank you for watching.